Adrian Gostick, All In, How the Best Managers Create a Culture of Belief and Drive Big Results. Welcome to the fascinating world of I All In, How the Best Managers Create a Culture of Belief and Drive Big Results by Adrian Gostick. This book takes you on an enlightening journey into the depths of effective management, highlighting the key factors that drive success and create a thriving company culture. Expect powerful insights into cultivating a culture of belief, the role of core values, and how to measure team engagement. Along the way, gain practical strategies to promote strong teamwork, foster a sense of purpose, and capitalize on the strengths of your employees. Billie Jean King's Life Story Billie Jean King an accomplished tennis player and the first female athlete to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom, shares her life story with writers Jeanette Howard and Marianne Vollers. This autobiography delivers a clear and honest account of King's journey, underlined by her dominant personality. While the story was written by two collaborators, King's voice carries the narrative. With 39 Grand Slam titles and a legacy that extends far beyond the tennis court, Billie Jean King's story exemplifies the power of determination and commitment to making a difference. The Gender Inequity in Sports Billie Jean King discusses the unequal treatment and limited opportunities for women athletes in the mid-1900s. King reflects on her personal experiences, including the lack of encouragement for women in sports and the disparities in tournament prize money compared to men. She acknowledges the influence of Althea Gibson, the first black tennis player to break the segregation barrier, as a role model. King faced her own challenges, playing part-time as an amateur and dealing with a lingering injury. Despite these obstacles, she persevered and ultimately triumphed over her competitors. Through her story, King sheds light on the need for greater gender equity in sports and the importance of breaking down barriers for future generations. The Battle for Professional Women's Tennis Billie Jean King, one of the world's best tennis players, faced financial hardships due to the old-fashioned purists who resisted women's tennis becoming professional. In 1968, King earned her first professional fees in the National Tennis League, where male players earned eight times more than women. Despite receiving criticism from her peers for pushing to professionalize women's tennis, King persevered and succeeded. She emphasizes that money does not take away from the honor of the sport and that the fight for gender equality in tennis continues. Revolutionizing Women's Sports Billie Jean and Larry King founded Women's Sports Magazine, World Team Tennis, and the Women's Sports Foundation, determined to make money and bring change. Despite opposition, they pushed forward, empowered to create a movement. In 1971, new regulations on cigarette advertising freed up funding for women's tennis, leading to strong corporate backing in major TV network coverage. King also secured sponsorship deals with Keds and Adidas. Their efforts revolutionized women's sports and paved the way for future female athletes. Billie Jean King's Fight for Recognition Billie Jean King the first female athlete to earn $100,000 in a year, advocated for female athletes to be involved in promoting gender equality during the debate for the Equal Rights Amendment. King's decision to have an abortion and her later coming out as a lesbian were met with hate mail and disapproval during a time when the LGBTQ community was not yet accepted. Despite her achievements, King struggled with hiding her sexuality for years as she feared it would negatively impact the women's tour. She ultimately believed that honesty was crucial in breaking boundaries and fighting for recognition. Battle of the Sexes In 1973, Bobby Riggs challenged Billie Jean King, the top-ranked female tennis player, to a match, claiming that women weren't entitled to the same prize money as men. Over 90 million people watched King defeat Riggs in five grueling sets, proving that women were just as capable as men in sports. King celebrates her victory but complains about rumors of Riggs throwing the match, as losing to her was the most disappointing and disheartening experience of his life. Battle for Authenticity Tennis icon Billie Jean King's struggle with self-acceptance and the fear of being outed jeopardizing lucrative endorsements is chronicled in her memoir All In. 
Tennis legend Billie Jean King's journey to self-acceptance is chronicled in her memoir, All In. The book delves into her fear of being outed, which she believed would have resulted in losing the lucrative endorsements she depended on for her retirement. King even experienced a breakdown, which she attributed to the stress of hiding her true self. She was diagnosed with a binge eating disorder and sought help from rehab. The memoir captures King's unapologetic candor when discussing her sexual orientation and the relief she experienced after coming out to her parents. All In portrays a battle for authenticity that will resonate with readers regardless of orientation. Lessons from Billie Jean King's Memoir Billie Jean King's memoir offers an exemplary tale of hard-earned success and its discontents for women of her generation. Despite her achievements in tennis, King's confessions of doubt and self-loathing over concealing her sexuality prove moving. The book provides profound lessons for men and women of every generation. Billie Jean King's memoir is not just about her extraordinary achievements, but also the struggles and challenges she faced throughout her life. The book offers a behind-the-scenes look at her personal and professional life, providing insights into the hardships women encountered in the past and unfortunately still face today. King's public persona has always been assertive, even combative, and despite being right most of the time, she was often belittled for it. However, her memoir also reveals her vulnerable side, where she confesses to bouts of self-doubt and self-loathing over concealing her sexuality. While King pours familiar scorn on her betrayers, the most attractive aspect of her story is about her hard-earned success and the discontents that came with it, as faced by the women of her generation. The memoir provides profound lessons for men and women of every generation, as it encourages readers to break boundaries and empower themselves to achieve their goals. In conclusion, All In offers an engaging and thoughtful exploration of how the best managers create a culture of belief and drive significant results in their organizations. Gostick has provided an invaluable resource for anyone seeking to advance both their team and company to exceptional heights. Throughout the book, vital lessons learned emphasize the importance of nurturing a strong culture, recognizing and supporting employees' strengths, and embracing core values. As a testament to Gostick's expertise, the concepts within All In are sure to equip you with the tools and understanding required to lead your organization with conviction and purpose.